So hi there folks. So in this video, this continuing video, we're going to talk about more on the fundamentals of mathematics, specifically in the batch of fundamentals of number theory. And we're going to talk about the greatest common divisor. Okay, so the greatest common divisor, also known as GCD, okay, also known as GCD, of two natural numbers is the greatest the greatest or the largest, shall we say the largest, the okay, counting number. When you say counting numbers again, so they are numbers which is in in all integers starting with one. So they are the greatest counting number that divides. Okay, take note, divides a given pair or more numbers of natural numbers into remainder of zero. Okay, divides them completely with a remainder of zero. So both of them or all of them must have a remainder of zero. That is, they're completely divisible. The greatest common divisor, also known as GCD for shorthand, is also known as or also called as the greatest common factor. Or actually in the UK, they call that as HCF or highest common factor. And neither of these two names or three of these names can be used. Okay, Two or more numbers whose GCD or greatest common divisor is 1 is said to be relatively prime to each other. Okay, so for example, so say for example we have here 24 and 23 so how can we get the greatest common divisor or, or gcd of 24 and 23 what we need to do first is to prime factorize both of them prime factorize both of them so for 24 we know that let's use the factor 3 in this instance so this is 2 times 12 okay 2 times 12 and we have this is going to be 2 times 6 and then lastly 2 times 3 so how do we write this? This is going to become um, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And how about for 23? Um, actually, 23 is a prime number, so it has only um, one pair. 23 times 1. Actually, 1 is trivial. It should be always as a factor. So as you can see here, for 24 and 23, it has only one similar or common divisor, which is 1. Okay, so from this example, we can say that since the only factor of both 23 and 20 and 24 is 1, therefore we say that both of them are relatively prime to each other. Okay, they are relatively prime since they have only 1 as the common factor. Okay, so that is what you mean when you say it's relatively prime. Let's have another example, shall we? So let's have 32 and 16. So how do we get the greatest common divisor? 32 and 16. So let's factor 32 first using the factor 3. So we have 32. Um, let's divide this by 2, shall we? So we have 1 and this is 16. Okay. And then 16 is 2 times 8. 8 is 2 times 4. 4 is 2 times 2. So let's write 32 as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 16, we can see 16 over here. So we can just follow the rest here. So that's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now, how do we get the greatest common divisor of these two numbers? What we need to do is just, you know, box the numbers which are common to both of them. Again, common to both of them. And we can see that these are these numbers. Okay, This 2 is just um, outside the box because there's no external 2 in the 16. So this is not common. This number 2, this integer 2, is not common to 32 and 16. So what we will do is their common factors are, let's say the common factors, are let's write it down we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 since we have four um, integers which are common to them so therefore we can say that the gcd of the two numbers then the gcd gcd of 32 and 16 is of both numbers shall we say is let's 
16. Okay, so that's 16 there. So since 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16, so therefore their GCD is 16. Yeah, that's written in textual form. This is the one that I wrote. Okay, so yeah, after that, I hope you have you have you have um um you know understood that process. So after this, I'm going to give you an exercise. So this is composed of five items. What you will do is you will need to find the greatest common divisor of the following set of numbers. So we have number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and I will be giving to, this to you as an assignment. Maybe you can pause the video now and have a screenshot of what is here. Okay, so one, two, three, screenshot. Okay, so there. Um, I'm going to answer this in the next video. Okay, so just um, don't forget to subscribe so that you'll know the answer for this. Okay, so yeah, so keep in touch. And yeah, that will be the last, this will, this will be the video explaining to you how to get the greatest common factor of of any integer of a pair our examples are only a pair but it can be extended into n number of integers only that it will be you know it will be tedious if it has more than two but yeah the process is still um, basically the same so yeah that's it for this video thank you very much for watching i know you subscribed already so don't forget to like this video and yeah thank you very much and i'll see you soon for the solution video okay bye